Welcome friends. In this video, we'll uh, try to cover uh, some more numericals on uh, most probable value, and uh, after that, we'll uh, also solve the numerical based on uh, error for single observation or error for mean. So now we'll uh, start with this numerical. The statement is: an angle A was measured by different person, and the following are values. now this uh, this is uh, some uh, angle measured by different person so uh, these values are given based on the measurement of different person the number of observation made by that person for uh, that angle measurement are given in front of the measurement value okay so this angle is measured twice it is measured thrice now uh, they have asked that find the most probable value of the angle now for this uh, we'll start with uh, the statement that the most probable value of an angle is equal to weighted arithmetic mean means most probable value is what value is weighted arithmetic mean okay now uh, we know that how to take uh, arithmetic mean first of all we'll uh, take the multiplication of this angle with its observation number of observation okay so we'll multiply this by this value this angle by this value this angle by this value means we are multiplying the value of angle by respective number of measurements their respective number of measurements so we'll add them and we'll divide them by the total number of measurements so uh, what is the formula for weighted arithmetic mean weighted arithmetic mean mean equal to now uh, in place of writing here i will start here equal to it will be first angle is 65 degree 30 minute 10 second into 2 plus 65 degree 29 minute 50 second into 3 plus 65 degree 30 minute 0 second into 3 plus it is uh 65 degree 30 minute 20 second uh i'll write here into 20 second into for this angle for this angle the uh, number of observation is 4 so multiply by 4 plus 65 degree 30 minute and 10 second multiply by 3 now this whole divided by this whole divided by we'll write the summation of number of observation 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 this will be in the denominator so finally if you calculate the summation of numerator you will get 982 degree 31 minute sorry it is 31 minute and 40 second and in the denominator you will get 15 2 3 5 8 12 15 so it will be 15 and if you divide this 982 uh, degree 31 minute 40 second by 15 you will get 65 degree 30 minute and 6.67 seconds so this is what your answer is it is most probable value of uh, quantity which is nothing but arithmetic mean of that quantity weighted arithmetic mean of that quantity so this is how uh, we'll solve the problem when uh, they have given the uh, value of quantity with number of observation so we'll uh, just find out the weighted arithmetic mean okay 
now we will take uh, second numerical which is related to uh, the probable error of single observation and probable error of mean so we will start with the statement of the problem the statement of problem is that in carrying a line in carrying a line of labels across a river the following eight reading were taken with a label under identical conditions so these all readings are taken under identical conditions the first reading is 2.322 uh, 2.3 2.352 uh, then uh, likewise other readings are given so uh, they have asked that calculate first the probable value a probable error of single observation and second the probable error of mean so now here they have asked that we have to find the probable error of single observation as well as probable error for mean so now how to solve this problem so i'll tell that uh, step by step the computation of v and v square uh, is to be arranged first in the uh, table format so i will draw the table here i have drawn the table so i have not used scale that's why this uh, lines are not that straight so you can understand this now i have written all the raw readings or you can say that staff readings in the first column now here uh, what we are doing uh, we'll just add these readings and we'll take average or mean of this reading how, how many reading are, uh, are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 
it is just the square of second column so if you calculate these values you will get like this 0, 0.00 how much uh, zero, 0 should I write here 3 2 1 ok 5 0 and then 1 then here 0 0.000625 0 0.00961 0 0.00225 here 0 0.00081 sorry 0 0.00041 0. 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 5. again 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 5. so these are the values of v square now here we will calculate summation of v square uh, to calculate summation of v square add these all readings you will get uh, we will add the readings in column 3 so you will get 0. 0. 0. 0.002584 so now we have calculated value of summation of v square now if you uh, recall the formula of single observation of error for single observation it was es is equal to plus or minus it represents plus or minus represents range of the problem uh, true value means in this range true value must lie so it is 0 0.6745 square root of how much it is? Uh, first of all, I will write the formula. Summation of v square divided by it is n minus 1. So, if you put the values G plus or minus 0 0.6745 square root of now summation of v square we have calculated that is 0 0.2584 divided by n is 8 minus 1 it is 7 so finally if you calculate the value you will get 0 plus or minus 0 point sorry 0 point already drawn it 0 point 00, 0 sorry rewrite the value it is 0 0.012 it is 295 meter ok now second uh, thing they have asked that is uh, error for mean the formula for error for mean is es divided by root n we will directly use that formula so it is 0 0.01295 divided by value of n is root 8 so it will be 0 0.00458 so likewise we will calculate the uh, error for single observation and mean observation ok so if the question is asked in the examination uh, you have to uh, on based on this concept you have to solve this by using this method so it is very simple just uh, one thing uh, you have to remember that you should calculate the things very carefully if you make a silly mistake in this measurement then uh, it will be very difficult for you because there is no uh, difficulty other than the calculation yes. it is very simple numerical so uh, these are the numericals which can be asked in the examination from this chapter I don't think so uh, there are any other types of uh, numerical which is left from our uh, discussion so if anyone feels that uh, we have skipped some part or skipped some numericals 
you can uh, ask me on the in the comments or uh, you can directly contact on my number so thank you